the only three tools you really need. Let's get into this. Okay guys, so today we're going to be going over a topic that a lot of us bushcrafters know, but not a lot of people talk about. Once again, it's kind of more toward or more aimed at beginners or people who are just interested in learning more. But today we're going to be talking about why the only three tools a bushcrafter really needs are a good axe, a good knife, and a good saw. So today, that's what we're going to be looking at. So let's jump into them. Now today I am going to be listing these tools from most important to least important, but once again, it's three tools, so all three are very important. I just figure this by what can do the most and what could function the best by itself. So that's how these got their place. So the one you're looking at right now is of course the ax or a pack ax. So this tool is number one and first for me because while you did see the other tools do different jobs, the ax could in a pinch do just about every other job you see here. Now would it be as clean and as nice a job as if the knife did it as if the knife did the feather sticking or the saw did the bucking? No, the ax certainly would not leave as clean cuts or be as easy to use. However, the most important thing is the ax could do it. So that's why it's number one and why it is forever going to be number one. It is simply the best one tool that you could carry out in the woods, really anywhere. Now for this tool, it is the GBA Scandi Forest Axe. This has become here in the recent years, a here in the recent years, more of a standard in the bushcrafting community because of how good it really is. This head a weight, a head size, and face to handle and overall weight is proportioned very nicely for doing a wide variety of tasks out here in the wood. Okay, so the next tool we look at is the knife. And this is once again one of those tools that I think it comes in second place because just like the axe, in a pinch, it could do most of what we saw. Now, of course, the bucking into size of a larger piece of wood like we saw would be pretty challenging and pretty time consuming for a knife, but in a pinch, if this is all you had, you could technically do it. But ultimately, a good, good solid knife is really an excellent tool for doing what it's supposed to do, which is, you know, the processing down of smaller pieces of wood, the processing of different things such as, you know, natural resources and animals. It's also really good at <clears throat> carving and doing other camp tasks. So having a knife is essential and you will almost always see every bushcrafter, every good bushcrafter with a knife and a saw or a knife and an ax or a knife saw and ax. And it's because the knife just is a perfect pairing and it helps cover or you know fill that void that the one tool lacks or the other tools lack. Lastly, is the good old saw. Now, some people have different opinions about whether it should be a folding saw like you see here, or whether it should be some kind of buck saw or something like that. Either way, a saw is a saw, and they're all good at doing just about the same job. So this one, of course, is a silky big boy, and overall, a saw is a very important tool to have because it allows you to process and buck down pieces of wood that are pretty sizable, like you can see this here, in a matter of minutes. Where it would take, you know, an axe about 10 minutes, a knife, probably even an hour. So the saw does have an advantage, even though very singularly, in bucking pieces of wood, but also, as not very mentioned, not very often mentioned. One of the things that I value most about a saw in a bushcrafting scenario is the fact of its ability to carve notches and car carve things such as dovetails with higher accuracy, precision, and speed than you could accomplish with a knife or an axe or anything like that. Simply because it allows you to set the saw right on the plane that you need to cut and it allows you to cut notches 
in that um, in that angle or at that angle very fastly and like I said very accurately because you're not swinging the tool you're not batoning the tool so it's going exactly where you want it to go so that is the primary advantages to the saw and why you'll see a lot of people especially more craft oriented bushcrafters carrying a saw because it allows you to craft at a higher speed and uh, with higher accuracy.